Hey, this is Matt with Mel Express Radio. I have with me guitarist Mark Rizzo. How are you today, man? Good. It's good to be here, man. How are you? Great. And also great to have you. You've been a long-time fan, so it's great to talk to you. Nice. New band, Hail the Horns. How did the formation of this band come up? Yeah, that's uh, a new project with Tony Campos from Static X, myself, and uh, my good friend Opus from Dead by Wednesday. Uh, just basically, Opus and I have been talking about doing a project for a long time together because we, we did Dead by Wednesday together, and, and I've, uh, I've I've done some. He's plays in my solo project from time to time, and helps book me. And Tony Campos and myself, we've always for years talked about doing a project together. So now we're doing it, and we're basically going to just get out there, hit the road, and, and play for starters, play a lot of cover songs from all the bands that we've been part of, and some extra uh, you know, metal classics. And then uh, eventually we'll go into the studio and start doing some originals. You recently just released uh, the cover of Kiss's God of Thunder. How did you guys go about covering that, and what kind of feedback have you received? Uh, yeah, you know, it's funny. I'm, I'm really not the biggest Kiss fan, you know, but I, the old stuff I can appreciate. Um, and Opus and Tony, they're, they're huge fans of Kiss. You know, they're a little older than me, so I think they grew up on Kiss more than I did. Um, so basically, you know, they, we decided to pick one of Kiss's uh, heavier songs from back in the 70s. Um, and I think we did a great version of God of Thunder. Uh, if there was a Kiss song that I, I do like, it's God of Thunder. And I think we did a really cool, heavy cover of, uh, of that song. And do you feel like there, in the sound of Hail the Horns, there's going to be influences from Dead by Wednesday and like your work that you've done with like Soulfly and the Cavalier Conspiracy and so on? Sure, absolutely. Specifically from the records that Tony and I did with Soulfly. Uh, we had a big influence on those records, and we're going to continue that same kind of sound from, from the records like Soulfly's Enslaved, uh, Savages, you know, that, that Tony and I had a lot to do with those records. And, um, you know, I think it's going to be in tune with that kind of vibe, plus Opus's input, you know, with, with his style coming from Dead by Wednesday. So I think this is, uh, this is like a super group for, for metalheads out there. And you did say uh, you guys plan on doing some shows soon. Do you see yourself maybe uh, just going out there and headlining, or do you think you might plan a support tour? Uh, whatever we can get. I, we're, we're going out uh, in November into December uh, headlining. Um, but, yeah, we're hoping to get some support tours also. I mean, we're, we're, we're willing to do anything uh, that's available and given to us. Ideally, who would you think would be a good fit to either support a headline on tour? Gojira, like we were talking about before, uh, you know all, all the all the, the metal bands out there that are in our genre that we all enjoy. I mean, you could put us on tour with with anybody, and I think we'll go over well, and we'll we'll pick a uh, a good set list to, to fit in with the tour. And what can fans expect from the band for the rest of the year? You did mention touring. Do you think maybe we'll be able to hit the studio by the end of the year? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit the road first. Uh, you know, bands usually do it the other way, record first. Um, but we're we're gonna do we're, we're gonna go out and play songs from all the bands that we're, we've been part of, um, just to get out on the road and start gigging and and, and take it to, to the people. Um, and then hopefully maybe probably come, like early next year we'll probably get into the studio and start really writing our own original stuff. And having toured the world throughout your whole career, is there anywhere that you haven't played yet? Uh, country? Yeah, uh, just anywhere in general. Sure. I mean, there's a lot of countries, you know, that I don't even know if you can go to play a metal show. Um, but, yeah, there are, there's definitely some places I haven't been. Um, you know, for me, we'll, 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 we'll you know, if it, if it makes sense, we'll go anywhere. Um, but for now, we're just concentrating on touring the States. Uh, maybe we'll get down to South America because of uh, Tony's history and, my, and myself. Um but for now, it'll basically just be the States, you know, maybe Europe at some point. Anywhere in particular that's always been your favorite to play live? Uh, I love going to South America. And, you know, the fans down there are, are so passionate. Um, and I just love it down there for the, the music, the passion for the music, the food. It's just, it's a great place for, uh, for metal right now. If you could put three of your favorite guitar solos that you've written, what would they be and why? I'm going to say... I guess I'll pick something from my entire history. I mean, first and foremost, uh, probably release the Kraken from my my solo record Legionnaire. That's got some of my uh, you know my my favorite leads I ever did, um, and it's, it's a long song. It's, it really sums up what I do as far as my solo stuff. Um, I gotta put some Cavalier Conspiracy. Hearts of Darkness has always been one of my favorite 
leads I ever did. It's got like three or four different sections um, for leads, and, and I, I took them and ran with it. So uh, that would be another one. And then from Soul Fire, I always loved my solo in the song Enemy Ghost. Um, it was just real melodic and, and, and very, I, I really thought that one out and really took time to write that one out. And if you could pick one album from each one of the projects that you've worked on throughout your career, what would it be? Um, um, I'm going to say my last solo record, Rotation, that, that really you know, sums up my entire solo uh, style of music. Um, it's, it's got everything, and I think if you were a fan of anything I've done with Soulfly or Cavalier Conspiracy or El Nino, you'll love Rotation because I really wrote it for, for metalheads. There's a lot of groove riffs, a lot of breakdowns. Um, so definitely that record's great. But I'm also, I have my other side project called Revenge Beast, and we're about to drop a record real, real soon. Um, and I'm really proud of that stuff because that's that's really some of the heaviest stuff I ever did. Um, along with Hail the Horns, you know, I know when we get started writing some Hail the Horns stuff, that's going to be some of my, my new, new favorite stuff also. Do you see yourself doing more with Revenge Beast when um, Hail the Horns takes a break? I'm going to try to do all three, you know, as far as all the scheduling, um, whatever works out and what's the best. You know, Tony's going to get busy again with, with uh, Static X and Fear Factory come next year. So, you know, then I'll, I'll put my attention definitely into my solo project. That's, that's really my main focus is my solo stuff. Um, but then hopefully next year, you know, when Tony gets busy with Fear Factory and Static X, then maybe Revenge Beast will, will uh, release our record and start doing some shows soon. If there's nothing that we've gone over that you'd like to throw in, go right ahead. Uh, just a big thank you to all the fans and the support. You know, uh, this, this, this year has obviously been pretty crazy, especially for me. Um, and, uh, you know, the fans have been very supportive and showed me a lot of love this year. I'm really, really overwhelmed by all the the uh, support and love that I got from all the fans, um, from all the bands I've been part of. So big thank you to, to everybody. Now, my last question I have for you, between being a solo artist along with other projects, how have you managed to just keep yourself busy, and what has really been the driving force to stick with music? Uh, you know, this is what I love. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fanatical about playing guitar, first and foremost. You know, guitar is my, my passion, you know, and um, that's why I, my solo stuff has always been my, my priority, just because I, I love guitar music. I, I love stuff like Joe Satriani and Steve Vai and Bay Mountain. You know, I'm, I'm just very, very uh, fanatical about guitar playing and, and the instrument. Um, so that just that just keeps me going, man. You know, I mean, playing guitar is something that I, I, I just I'm obsessed with. All right, awesome. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Really looking forward to seeing what the future has in store for yourself, along with Hail the Horns and um, Revenge Beast as well. Looking forward to hearing all the good stuff. Great, man.